I have no time to film this on both my camera and my, my phone. Yep, there you go. <laughs> um, are you ready for this madness? Rohab and Monique are still here with the blown up S14. We're gonna swap the whole front end out of the 14 into the 180 and the 180 into the 14. Good morning. Day two of MC Matsuri. Uh, I need to fix a knuckle and get all that back in. Hopefully, we can get some more laps in the afternoon or hopefully lunchtime. I don't know yet. Depends on how we can get that fixed and if we can get it fixed. It may have damaged the rack yet, we're not too sure. For those who have never been over to, and you're always like, what do you mean? What, what's a key to course and what's a school course and all that kind of stuff? These are all the tracks and this is Ebisu. So, Ebisu is not just one circuit, it is a bunch of circuits. So, north course, that's Kita, that's the one that we're always hanging up uh, on the top at, and we got the pits at. Toge course we haven't been on at all. Uh, we were last time though. School course, there's this one down here, but it's just a giant big square. But that must just be the different variations of layouts. Um, slide Park, that's Minami. Mm, I think so. I think it's Minami. Um, do, 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 east course, Higashi, and west course, Nishi. Nishi is the one that you see a lot of the YouTubers doing the big comps on and the Formula D and stuff. And Kurukuru Land is like a beginner um, little area where you can learn how to do donuts and figure eights and just fun little stuff. Try to find a cheap suitcase that they fit in and just jam it in there. Yeah, it's probably worth doing. Um, there is all the details for anyone wishing to attend or participate. Um, so, obviously this weekend for costs was uh, $200 to get in and $20 for a pit pass like under shelter up at Gita. Uh, what else? Anything else? Tires cost $15 per tire to change if you're not PV or Sidex supported. I think high car what, for how many days was it? Four or five days? Yeah, five days. The coping. It was like you know, 500 bucks train. Okay, so 500 bucks roughly to hire the car and roughly 600 bucks for a couple of days accommodation in an onsen. And it was it was a dollar fifty to be in an onsen, like <laughs> yeah, it was an onsen tax, <laughs> which is nothing. It was great. You had like a big onsen, and then you had like four private onsens to pick from, and then a bunch of shower rooms and all that kind of thing too. If you guys are westerners and you freak out about bathing with people together, that's just a western thing, hey. Can this get you be bigger than them? Yeah, they'll just. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else? There's bears, beware of bears, so if you're coming out here and you for whatever reason, bringing a swag and you want to camp here to save on accommodation, probably don't. <laughs> it's going to be really, really cold or really, really hot, or you could say hi to uh, Akuma. It's the morning of the zoo. Thanks to Grant, we have a 22mm so um, spanner. We've got another tie rod and thanks to Forsto and Rahab, we have a couple of knuckles and some tie rods to try and try and get this 180 back up and running. Yeah, it was like, I have a sound. Good morning everybody, we are down on school, we've just rocked up. Uh, Forster ended up digging us up some knuckles, so we have some replacement parts. We're going to try and swap out these knuckles and the tie rods. Hopefully there is no damage or minimal damage to the steering rack, it got ripped out. Um, we'll see, had a pretty hectic night last night getting that all sorted. Um, massive thank you again to Forsto and to Rohab and to all the guys that helped out. Borrowing a, a spanner of uh, Grant, I'm, uh, yeah, Brendan's driving around to get this done. Andy and Dan have been a mad help. Um, yeah, this is this is what drifting's all about, and the community coming together to help people out is just freaking awesome. So thank you guys so much. All right, let's try and get this car done. It's 10 a.m. now, so we're gonna have about five hours of driving if we can get this fixed and done. Fingers crossed.
All right, if I put the camera down for a while, I apologize. It might just be a case of it's not done and then, and now it's done. <laughs> All right, this could potentially be scary. Yeah, they cracked in the rack and it's been elongated. getting uh, bound a bit. I think the rack is bent. I don't think this is salvageable with this rack. So I think my only options really are picking up Sidex or PV, see if they can do something about a rack in the alignment today. Um, and then hope to drive it tomorrow. I don't think it's gonna be driving today. This is pretty bad. You can see, it's, it's not good. And that's just for out here, I think that's a bit too dangerous. Uh, I put the car back together as best I can, but we have a couple of problems. We're trying to fit uh, S14 or S15 uppers on S13. The ball joints on the LCAs, the ball joints on the LCAs are tapered, so they're not going the whole way down. Um, but the main problem is that the rack is split and the threads are stripped out on the inside of it um, and the rack is elongated and flared out so it could only hold on for maybe four, four threads so it is not worth going hell for leather at 150 k's drifting some of these tracks and some of these corners with a rack that could pop out any second or a knuckle on the other side that could potentially snap because they are uh, we found out they're kind of they're double welded knuckles so they were cut and shot knuckles but then recut and suited to this so they've been recut and shut so that's kind of what's happened with the knuckle um, and why it's potentially snapped on transition uh, the other thing all right cool we found out what the idling issue was with this it turns out it apparently has a uh, automatic ECU in it so it's just start it does auto things and creeps so that could potentially be causing the issues with why at cold it sits at 1200 it gets warm it starts coming up 25 to 3000 rpm so there's no leaks there's no temp issues we couldn't find anything else. It's all just been on such short notice. It's been such a test and tune, shakedown kind of car. This was not running completely when they got it. And they've done an amazing job to get it running for me for this weekend. And to get it to even where it is. So I'm very thankful regardless. And I've had a good time. Even a bad day at Ebisu is a good day. So uh, I'm going to head up to Kita, try and get out of the sun, get some shade, pull this apart, have a chat with some guys, see what we can do from there. We still have another couple of days that we're going to be here at and hopefully driving if we can find uh, a replacement parts. All right, let's get it back up there. Yeah, buddy. Or as Andy and Dan would say, what is that, brother? <laughs> They're hilarious. School course for what? Eight hours? We watched robbers all over the windscreen. <laughs> all over the entire car. We made it, we're back in Kita. I am having a break. I am. And it's hot. Like, what is the temperature? I think it's maybe like 20. I have no time in filming this on both my camera and my, my phone. Oh, there you go. <laughs> um, are you ready for this madness? Rohab and Monique were still here with the blown up S14. 
We're gonna swap the whole front end out of the 14 into the 180 and the 180 into the 14. I think that works up Let's drift left. Let's do it. We are racing around to get these two front ends swapped out. Just giving you a quick progress update. Most of the front of this is out. I've just got to drop the rack out, but we're waiting on some uh, a bottle and to do the lines. So I've done the lines on that one. These guys have almost done their cluster arms. So once that's out, these will go into that. That'll go into this. And yeah. <laughs> it was like 
was like, what, Nani? <laughs> Rohab's bash bath is a gaga. Japan! <laughs> How nice is Josh's S15 here? It's beautiful. Um, against all odds, we have just done the impossible. <laughs> let's let's go. We got yeah. we got 45 minutes all right. of driving to do. We just swapped the whole front end out of the 14 into the 180. No idea what the alignment's like. We're actually probably gonna check that. Gonna, yeah. It's too far out. Oh, but the alignment's way out on this side though. Ooh. It's off. Yep. Got some Uber tow out going on, but about 40 minutes. Let's see if the car's gonna drift.
It's the end of the day. That's where he's done. The car is in one piece and it's running and it's steering and driving. And it's all thanks to my Brazilian pit team here. These wonderful people have helped me get the car done. Arigato to say mas. We've got to load up Rahab's S14 now because it blew the motor. Um, and then these guys will pack up and hopefully enjoy a break and a lot of rest. <laughs> I am done, I am tired, I can't feel, I think I've lost at least three of the four layers of skin off my hands. I can't get the grease off, it's stuck on there now. Um, we have another two or three days left of driving and drifting. I have to bump my flights back so we get to stay an extra couple of days. And now I have to figure out where I'm going to stay, if I'm going to stay in a place called Rat Inn or if I'm going to stay in Mount Inn. I don't know yet. These guys are staying, so I'm going to stay with Dan and Andy, which uh, will be... <laughs> <laughs> be hilarious. Um, or I could say near Mount Inn and try and do some more sim stuff. But I've never done sim stuff. Because who knows? We're driving an SR. That's a big risk. I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> I like it. I like the SR. It's been an absolute dream to be driving out here. It's been really fun. The the diff ratio is great for it. The torque, the power range, the amount of boost I'm running, the amount of angle that's now in it. It's been freaking cool. It is a sick car. But yes, the 180 has been. Absolutely magical. I would show you, but the K truck is blasting music, so I'll get down for copyright. <laughs> Thank you, 180. You did so well. You can still manually take the NAS book. Say goodbye to Sam. Sam, can you say goodbye to these guys? Goodbye, everyone. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and she will see you in the next video. There you go. Streamception. Phew. Bye, Riley. Sam to stay for a couple more days and come driving. Otherwise, I'll have to catch him when I move over. Uh, I say goodbye to Andy and Dan. <laughs> catch you guys tomorrow. What do you guys like to say goodbye? Uh, see ya. That's Meza. Bye. Bye bye. Catch ya. Bye.